When I saw this clip of millionaire Chris Philp, the crime and policing minister, telling people on benefits of roughly £85 a week that there was no excuse for shoplifting, I got thinking, who is this guy? Uh, on working age benefits, they went up by 10% uh, in April of this year. They're going to go up by another, I think, 6 or 7%. In April, the national minimum wage has just gone up by around, it was about to go up by around about 10%. There is no excuse at all uh, for any kind of criminal activity, including shoplifting. Well, we know he's a liar. You've also lied that we left negotiations on Saturday and went to a rally. There were no negotiations scheduled for Saturday. You are a liar. And in the last video, we looked at this billboard. The joke being that the Tories went on to close two thirds of all police stations in England. But today, it's time to remember his hand in the disastrous mini-budget. But will he admit any responsibility? I've sped up the first couple of his replies because they're the type of pointless dodging the question answers we've come to expect from weasels like Philp. You're his right-hand man. How involved were you in the decision to cut that top rate of tax? Well, these decisions are made ultimately by the Prime Minister and the Chancellor. They obviously talk to a lot of colleagues um, you know, across the Cabinet and indeed beyond. I mean, the Prime Minister and Chancellor have been talking uh, to members of Parliament uh, in the last few days on, on this question and on others. So they draw their, um, they talk to a lot of different people and ultimately they obviously make the decisions. Uh, you're his right-hand man. How involved were you, were you in the process? Uh, well, obviously they talk to me um, about these things. Um, but as I say, they talk to a lot of people. And Mr Fulk, uh, how know. involved were you in the process? You know, the Prime Minister and Chancellor talk to me about this as they talk to other people, um, but it's not a, you know, it's a government which is broadly based. They were talking to a lot of MPs across the Parliamentary Party in the last few days who are obviously speaking for their constituents, and, and ultimately the Prime Minister and Chancellor decided to uh, change tack uh, because they obviously are listening, and this is a government that listens, and that's what they've done. Mr Philp, okay. um, did you present the Chancellor and the would-be Prime Minister with a paper outlining that this would be a good idea during the uh, election campaign for the new Prime Minister? Um, I was asked to look at whole like dozens and dozens. Did of different you or did ideas. you not present uh, I'm not them gonna, with a I'm paper not gonna, I'm not suggesting go, this was a good idea? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go into the details of what Why ideas not? were or were not discussed by cabinet because it, those are those are because those are private conversations, Kay. And what I'm interested in talking it about is the growth the country, plan that's going to see wages servant. rising. Was it your idea? I would not describe it as my idea, no. Um, but we discussed lots of ideas. I discussed those ideas. I was asked to analyse different ideas. Um, we discussed dozens and dozens, dozens of different things. They were discussed with me, with lots and lots of other people, uh, members of parliament and other people as well. Uh, we put together the growth plan, uh, which will get our economy growing. It will see wages rising. Did you present Ms Truss and uh, Mr Kwarteng uh, with a paper suggesting that this is what would happen if there was a cut from 45p I did not, I did not to 40p? OK, Kay, I did not produce a paper specifically on this measure. We discussed lots and lots of paper? different ideas. OK, I think I've, I've said as much as I want to say about this. Lots and lots of different ideas were discussed I'm sure that's by lots the case, and lots of different people. But nevertheless, it's my job to press people. you on it. And my question is, as part of a paper, as part of a work, as part of a body of work that was given to them during the election campaign, did you suggest in writing that this could be a good idea? I'm not going to go any further into discussion, so private discussions that were held over the summer. I'm not, I've said as much as I want to say about this. You know, there were widespread discussions involving me, involving other people, involving dozens of different ideas, uh, and you know, decisions ultimately um, get made by the Chancellor and by the Prime Minister, listening to a lot of different people. It was your idea, wasn't it? I wouldn't describe it as my idea, no. Whose idea was it? I've already said that a lot of different ideas got discussed by a lot of different people uh, during the course of the campaign and subsequently. Um, but the growth plan, the whole growth plan, was a team effort which was debated and um, ultimately decided on by the Prime Minister and the Chancellor. And the growth plan is literally a positive plan. It will see taxes falling for every single working family by an average of £430. Click here for more about Philp.